are not born are not old enough to remember at that time. It is our responsibility to carry on this remembrance. We need this day, this terrible day of, tra of tragedy, to remind ourselves that no matter how bad we think it is, we are Americans. And when the world is at its darkest, we will come together as a country to prevail. Students, you were in first grade when the following words were given to our nation by our president at that time, George Bush. And he said these words. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist attacks. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. There were some part of the speech that really resonated with me, and that was these words. America was targeted for attack because we are the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world. And no one will keep that light shine from shining. As an immigrant to this country, students and everyone who is present, when I heard those words, I understood that yes, indeed, America is the land for freedom and opportunity. As a, student, as a young boy when I immigrated to this country at the age of 16, with being raised by only a grandmother and no father around, no mother around, Yes, indeed, America was the land of opportunity for me, particularly. We cannot afford to forget the events of that terrible morning, nor should we forget how Americans responded in New York City, at the Pentagon, and in the skies over Pennsylvania. With heroism and selflessness, with compassion and courage, and with prayer and hope. We can all be inspired by the heroic sacrifices of our firefighters, rescue personnel, law enforcement, military service members, and our citizens. Uh, I'm going to read When I Look at the American Flag by Heather Ricker. When I just even glance at the American flag, I feel a surge of pride. The stripes of stars as we put it up to rise up time. I think of the people long ago fighting for our rights. When I'm looking at the great flag, I think of being in those long ago fighting.
future is shaped on the events of our past. Our obligation is to ensure that you never forget and that you learn to treasure the American way of life and all of its liberties. This was a defining moment in our past, and the leaders of the next and as the leaders of the next generation of Americans. You must never allow these events to fade into memory. So that as a nation, we can better ensure that they are never repeated on American on American soil, and that American lives are never put at risk and lost in such an endless fashion. All of us have friends and relatives or know someone who is a service member or a first responder who is a military community. These are the guardians of our liberties, of our way of life. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers because what they do, they do to serve you. The peace and tranquility you enjoy as citizens of the greatest country on earth is maintained on their watch locally and in the far reaches of the world. So tonight as you go to bed, please keep their service in mind and their sacrifices in mind and be thankful that you enjoy the fruits of their labor. This concludes our ceremony. I appreciate your attention and participation. And I am hopeful that we can make this a tradition in the community of Horizon and at Horizon High School. Thank you. And may God bless America.